I don't know how you can get thrown off by that. All oh. right, the formalities are out of the way. Welcome, fans, to MPW's Shinobi. I remember that video game. My name is Chris Klaas, sitting next to Dustin Daniels. That's right. Nice the summer to finally meet you, Mr. Jack Claus. Daniels is actually... Yeah. You've been preying on my downfall. It's nice to finally meet you, and nice that you're all quiet, oh, all okay. respectful, you know, because you know that I would whoop you. Okay, listen, we are here to do a job. You're actually here at the announce booth. You're not supposed to get involved I'm, in any physical activity involved. while this comment. match is going on, let alone with myself or Super Beetle, who you now, keep in mind, fans, Dustin Daniels, the man sitting next to me, defeated last week, Diego Valens, to become, that's right, the number one contender for the national championship currently held by the man in blue in the ring right now in this, our opening contest yeah. at MPW Shinobi. Now you can talk. All right, well, I won last week, and yeah, I'm just here scouting out the competition. Whoever wins this, I'm going against them on the 28th of October. What Super is going on? What is going on with you and all these people? Dustin Daniels, you were beloved. It was you, it was Busio, it was Full Send. I mean, you guys were riding the highest wave possible in all of MPW. Again, the fans, you, you had a lot of kids looking up to you, and then you turned your back at them. You became, and all these chants that you're getting, hey pal, if you ask me, you deserve them. Hey, these people never cared about me. I just needed never to make a big about They you. never cared about me. I'm just making a big change, and guess what? It's working, because I'm gonna be a champion in two weeks from now. Well, that remains to be seen, of course, talking about October the 28th, the big one, the King of Extreme right here from the MPW Arena, 19801 Nordoff Place in Chatsworth as we look at the national champion in action. Title on the line, Koto Hero, a very golden opportunity, a big golden opportunity right now for him, test of strength. Yeah, Koto Hero, I'll give it to him. He's a very good athlete. Look at him. Oh, put he's, together. Got, he's got abs, he's got pecs. I what? like this guy. Super Beetle, on the other hand, has got to cover himself. That's not what I'm all about. Talk about innovation there. Look at this. Show of respect from these two. Go to Hero from the land of the rising sun. Super Beetle, the national champion. One on one action. Both Title on the line. Still feeling each other out. Let's see what happens here. Of course, Super Beetle said I'm an Whoa. idiot last week, or he said I had no brains, and that's that's the complete opposite. Oh my gosh, I have we brains, got to talk I have strength, and look at the Beetle now. He's on the ground, and never mind. Thank God, this is only one match. Super Beetle now. Shut Don't up, have shut to. up, Klaus. You know, if you keep talking, I'll put him here right now. Oh please. Side headlock right now applied from Beetle. And now, off the ropes, Koto Hero shuts the champ. Ooh, oh, big shoulder, shoulder tackle. Block. I do that shoulder tackle a lot better than he does. And Beetle's and feeling move. it right now, the I national can, champion. I can move a lot better than Beetle does too. Leapfrog from Hero. Beetle now, oh, run that one, telegraphed it. Close line, duck underneath. And now shoves Koto Hero from first off the ropes. Roll up, referee down. Only a two count, near fall. Oh, nice roundhouse kick, but nice block from Beetle. Block from Koto Hero, look at these two, wow. Very quick from both of these competitors. I'm not too impressed with Beetle though. Really? No. no. Why is that? No, he's, I don't like the way he's moving. I don't like that mask. I don't like all these handshakes. He's just not. You're just not, not impressed with a lot of people, Dustin Daniels. I'm truly not. But Koto Hero, on the other hand, like I said earlier, I'm impressed with this guy. He hey. obviously puts the work in the gym. This is a guy that you should look out for. Well, listen, I mean, right now, yes, Super Beetle is the national champion. However, you could easily be going against Koto Hero had he, if he comes out on top in this encounter. Yeah, and I wouldn't mind You're that scouting at all. the talents yeah. right now. Yeah, that's why I'm here, checking out the competition. Right now, both these competitors are going at it, and it's a great competition so far. Whoa. And that was a beautiful DDT. I got to give that to him. Koto Hero. Very impressive. He could have done that better, though. Yeah. In this, a golden opportunity for him should he come out of here as the national champion title on the line in our opening contest. Ooh. Whoa! Sunset flip bomb into the corner by Koto Hero. That it, was a very nice maneuver by him. That's right. Into the buckles, no less. Now Koto very Hero. quick, very evasive, going up to the top rope. He's uh -oh. going to put down the beetle right now. Trying to take advantage of the down. Oh! oh double. He just squished that bug. Yeah! Calm down. I'm not Jeez, calm. Man. I don't like this beetle guy. Relax. Hey, it doesn't matter, Dustin Daniels. Either way, you will have to face one of these two men come October the 28th for the big one, MPW's King of Extreme, 19801 Nordoff Place in Chatsworth, 730. Either way, I'm going to beat whoever I go against. It's false count anywhere. I can pin them wherever. I can pin them right here on this commentary desk, in the crowd, in the ring, two. wherever I want. Near fall right there, almost a new champion. This matchup opening contest here at MPW Shinobi continues. Going for a uh, snapmare, perhaps. I don't know, maybe a neckbreaker. 
Oh, our hero. Here. A little bit of a struggle. Big right cross. There we go. That's right to nice the horn. Right. Big the boot horn. now. Is that even legal? Why does he have a horn on? What do you mean? Beetles have horns. You take it off, he's going to bleed profusely. koto has got to take that off. And now, oh, nice roundhouse kicks. And now you see the martial arts expertise coming into play. Dustin Daniels. Yes, Koto putting in the work, and he's got some great strikes, and he's really working him in the corner right now. And I he believe... right now. He's bringing him down. And I believe both these guys have done their homework. Big knee right there from Koto Hero. Definitely both guys have done their homework, but right now it seems like Hero's got the advantage. Oh. Relentless now. Unloading with the heavy artillery. Driving those knees down. It's a good strategy. Keep him in the corner where he can't do much. There's Snapmare from Hero. And now setting Beetle up for something. Oh, right to the back of the head. That's right. He's got to keep squishing that bug. Off the ropes. Nice. Knee drop. Wow. Excellent. I really like Kodo here. You know, I like seeing Super Beetle get his ass beat. Shoulder up. The national champion. Resilient. Fans totally behind Super Beetle. Koto wrenching on the head right now. He's getting a little pump ski in too. If you could see, you could see the little bicep vein coming out. I like this. Let me ask My you bicep this. vein's a little better. My biceps are bigger. I'm just bigger in general. Out, out of respect, since you're a wrestler, uh, what is what is going through the mind when you're when you get your head wrenched like that? Out of respect, Chia Pet. Hey, 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 again, Claus. I will beat your ass right now. Hey, you know what? Hey, you know what? Hey, hey, I hey, can hey. say screw this commentary thing right now. Whoa! Nice vertical suplex, Super Beetle. I can leave right now. I can take this chair and hit you over the head with you. Can it. leave right now? No, I'm staying here with you. Oh man! You're my best friend right now. Oh, I I'm in trouble. Love, I know you love having me here, but I, quite frankly, I really wish I, Pinky was here. I, I can't I am, take Pinky either, but I can barely take you. Oh, you're just kissing up because he's the new general manager yeah, of MPW. I can care less. I can care less. All I can care about right now is this action right here. Well, that's right. And all these two can care about right now is which one of them are going to come out with the national title at the end of this contest. Will it be Koto Hero, a new champion, or Ooh. Super Beetle? Yeah. Super Beetle now again with the clothesline! Clotheslines, clotheslines. I do those clotheslines better though because I train my arms every day. Inverted atomic drop, set Mare again! And now Beetle! Oh. Oh. Basement super kick! Koto Hero seeing stars! Uh oh, look at this now. Setting up for another vertical oh suplex. Ooh. Standing vertical suplex, nice. Super Beetle hooks the leg! Koto Hero just at the last second kicks out. Yeah, it was a nice little suplex, but I got a better snap suplex that I could do all day. I don't know if I'm hearing confidence or arrogance next to me right now. A little bit of both, because I know I'm confident that I'm going to beat him in a couple weeks, or whoever ends up winning. This. And what about the arrogant part? Hey, that's just me. Oh, interesting. I know I'm good. I know Actually, I'm the best. Listen to these fans now. 19801 Nordup Place every Friday night, 7.30. Totally behind the national champion, Super Beetle, right now at this moment. And what does he have in mind here? Belly to back. To oh, wow. Koto Koto Hero. Look out. Kick to the back of the head. Whoa. We talked about the martial arts expertise coming into play before, Dustin Daniels. It's on full display right now. Yeah, he's using those kicks to his advantage. Whoa. Using Look at all those. those palm strikes. Let's see Spinning what he's got back, here. back kick. Look at this. Big DDT. Tornado. Uh, could, the, could this do it? New champion. Oh my. Oh. See, Koto's DDTs have been effective, but not effective enough. But I have a DDT that I've been starting to use that's been effective. As you saw last week, I beat Diego with it, and I am the number one contender because of that. Now. I think I looked away at that moment. What happened? Nonetheless, let me ask you this, Dustin Daniels. Hey, hey, look away again, and I'm gonna get you with the right hand straight to your mouth. Or I'll get you with that DDT as well. All right, I'm yeah. shaking. how it feels like. I'm, I'm shaking. Now, let me ask you this. Yeah, you better be. Let, let me ask you this. In all seriousness, Dustin Daniels, yeah. who do you prefer to go against of these two competitors that we're seeing right now for the title? You know, honestly, Whoa! I'd rather go against Beatles. He's been pissing me off last week. He said some stuff about me last week, and I really want to teach him a lesson. And so, so you want anywhere. Koto Hero to lose? Hey, wait, wait till I wait till I tell him what you said. Hey, you know what? Tell him whatever you want. I can take care of business by myself. Hook of the leg, one, two, and that's it. Oh, so many near falls in this hey, matchup. If you want to keep talking, you want to keep instigating. I'll surely have a message for you as well in the form of my fist, and we will be doing this commentary gig. Hey, anymore. you better be. You better watch it. Remember that uh, that attorney Saul Steinbergwitz Greenbaum might have, have a word with you if you keep threatening me. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, okay. Well, nonetheless, back to the match. 
at hand. This still fans our opening contest back in fourth action. Title still on the line. Super Beetle the champion, Koto Hero the challenger. And I'll give it to Beetle. He is giving it his all. And this is what oh, I like to God. see. This is what I like to see. Look at that. Now we're see uh oh, now it's getting dirty in here. Now it's getting nasty. Look at these two. Whoa, back and forth. Now Koto Hero. That's right. Come on. Come on, Beetle. Let's see what happens. Show me the real champion. Oh, real champion, yeah. Whoa, what a oh, kick! You guys are going to be seeing the real champion in a couple weeks. Strong words from Dustin Daniels right here at the broadcast position at MPW Shinobi. He will face one of these two men on October the 28th at MPW's King of Extreme for the national title. But who will it be? Both competitors are a little exhausted right now. I don't blame them. Uh oh, wait a minute. Oh, look at the agility! Athleticism, but Beetle catching him. Uh oh, wait a minute. Oh. Why could this do it? Head. Oh, Ooh. was that close? So close. No, Dustin Daniels, you're on the edge of your seat right now. Yeah, both of these wrestlers are very resilient, and well, it's not going to be an easy task in a couple weeks, but you know, I'm still going to win because I'm just better. I'm stronger. Oh my I look better. God. I'm better than you them realize in every I just ate right possible. before this. Anyway. Super Beetle now! Concussion headbutt! Hey, I want to eat, I'll give you enough sandwich. I'm full. Oh, oh look at that code breaker! One, two, that's it, there Super Beetle! There It'll be go. Dustin Daniels! Super Beetle 101, October the 28th! Yep. Hey, Beetle! 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 Oh. Super Beetle! Super Beetle! Was given high fives. Justin Daniels sitting right next to me. October the 28th. Oh no! Come on! Ring the bell! Ring the bell! Ring it! Get the referee out here! Get him out here! Come on! That doesn't count! That doesn't count! Justin Daniels sitting right next to me. Super Beetle victorious over Kono Hero. Drinks are spilled. Oh, good. give me a break. You are not the champion yet. Referee, please. Get this guy out of here. Dustin Daniels, message received loud and clear on October 28th. King of Stream, I understand you want this national title, and now I know how bad you want it. You're willing to go through lengths that nobody else has before against the best bug. But Dustin, let me tell you something. This belt is more than a weight on my shoulders. It is a responsibility to protect this company from people like you. You may think you're ready. You may think you're jacked enough. You may think that you can be the MPW national champion, but October 28th, we're going to learn the truth. Fans, welcome back once again. This is MPW Shinobi. My name is Chris Claus, sitting next to, thank God, Pinky Santino. I cannot believe what we saw, Pinky. Dustin Daniels was right here next to me in the opening contest. But when it was all said and done, after Super Beetle successfully defended the national title, he sneak attacked him. He couldn't wait till October the 28th. There is a lot of bad blood, a lot brewing in the back right now, and I'm sure you, the rules committee, the championship committee, the board of directors of MPW have got their hands full leading up to the 28th of October. Oh yeah, it's been hell trying to wrangle all these guys back there. I, I was upset that he was even out here, to be honest. But you know what? Let's focus on what's going on in the ring. We got tag team action going on right now. That's right, the Shady Boys against the Enterprise. All four not fan favorites here in MPW. Yeah, the question is, who are the fans going to hate more, the Enterprise or the Shady Boys? That's right, big Robin Sean there right now. Boy, is he a powerhouse. And talking about the Enterprise, who's this kid on the outside taking notes? What is this point, Dexter guy they got? With the tie, look, he's got a clipboard. What's he writing down right now? Somebody's little brother's hanging out with the Enterprise. Taking notes. Oh, excuse me, the Shady Boy's getting on us right now. Okay, well, I, I guess all we could say that Remy Morgan, oh wait, reversal. I, I gotta go in that. Into a side headlock now. Literally has his hands full, but in control, not, not for long. Oh, oh. excuse me. Running into the proverbial brick wall right there, that is Robin Shaw. Tag off. 
Shady Boy's continuity, but wait a minute, Robin Shaw again, oh, oh. my goodness! He almost slammed the Shady Boy through the ring! Did you see the strength and the power and the velocity and the force? I don't have to see it, I can hear it, Claus! Oh, I can feel it. Shaw now, going out to the left arm, counter. And now it's Shaw in trouble. Oh, look at that, nice reversal, wow! Look at that, Impress impressive wrestling from Robin Shaw, and that's why he calls himself the shooter of the Enterprise. I don't, I don't know who that is. Look at this out, backing down. He almost thought he was gonna get that right cross. And that Just, was a big right cross, cross. Yeah. Cross, cross, huh? Oh, excuse me, well, what? Look at this out, flinching again. Four for flinching. Flinch twice. Robin Shaw, tag off oh, to Jeff Roth. here comes the Jackal. That's right. Rothy. Uh-oh, look at front face lock applied now. But now, no, another quick tag off from the Shady Boys. In comes Remy Morgan. Oh, nice hip toss. Oh, cross arm breaker. Oh, look at that. Oh. MMA tactics. We're gonna turn it into a pin. You can't do that in MMA. Well, that's true. And now going after the arm. After the arm with an arm bar. Trying to get position. These guys are really jogging for position. Got the bottom rope. Referee ultimately has to break the hold. As far as wrestling, I think that's the best thing that, that Morgan could do, get to that bottom rope. I'm done playing. Morgan Whoa. now. Oh no. Roth not having any of it. The Jackal, Jeff Roth, member of the Enterprise. Tag off, yes, to Big. Robin Shaw, the kingmaker, the leader of the Enterprise. Stocks rise, Pinky, with the Enterprise. Apparently. That's and what I keep hearing. An opponent's fall. One, two, only a two count. Near if, fall. If you don't believe it, just ask anyone in the Enterprise. Trust me, they'll tell you. Oh, the NASDAQ hasn't seen such rises. Oh, no. That's what they told me. Oh, another tag off. Shady Boys, wait a minute, again! Oh. That's the second time Sean's done that. You think he would learn by now? Off the ropes, Irish whip coming up. Wait, duck under. Robin Shaw still on his feet. Oh no. Uh oh. Whoa. Look out! Oh, the ring just shifted. And the first player chance has been served up for the night. Did you hear that? I sure did. How could you not? Oh. Off the ropes, double team. Big the double back elbow. The Enterprise, raw for the pin. Referee down, only two. Shady Boy showing some resilience here. And listen to that. The fans actually getting behind Jeff Roth. That's how much they dislike the Shady Boys. Oh, I think it's 50-50 in here. Jeff Roth now. Look at this out. Wait a minute. Oh, look at that. Morgan saving his partner. Yeah, I misread that for sure. I got to give that to Morgan. Look at his partner. It yeah. almost confused Roth. European uppercut. Whoa! Whoa! I think that's the third play to Chomps, Pinky. And now, Jeff Roth in a world of trouble in the wrong part of town. Oh no, I think I've seen this. Uh oh, double team coming up. Look out! Oh, double axe handle right on the lower back. Nice execution from the Shady Boys. Now trying to turn the tide here. Smart, by the way, Pinky Santino keeping the smaller man of the Enterprise in their part of the ring. Oh yeah, most definitely. They don't want Robin Shaw in there. I mean, they really don't want the Jackal either, but I think if they had to pick to isolate one of the two in their part of town, it would have to be the smaller man of the team. I might as well isolate the one you can lift. And right now, tag off again, Remy Morgan back in. Again, cutting the ring off nicely, these two. The Shady Boys, impressive in this tag team outing here, MPW's Shinobi. Oh, look at this! Oh, wait a minute, hey, going for a toe hold, ankle lock. Get in here! Get in here, wait a minute, there is no tag, oh, come on! He just blindsided Roth. What the hell? Come on, referee, get control! Still, referee Victor Quentin's got his hands full on this one. Off the ropes. Look out! Whoa. Basement clothesline. Hooks the leg. One, two, only a two count near fall again. What a match this has been so far, Pinky. 
Oh, you're not lying. This is probably the best I've ever seen the Shady Boys. Quick tag sound. Case in point right here. Nice tag team work. I, I still don't know who Poindexter with the yellow tie is. Oh, nice spinning back kick from Jeff Roth. Look out! Whoa. Standing in Sagiri! Out of nowhere! Look out, Remy Morgan! Oh! Oh, come on! Uh-oh, that's like stirring up a hornet's nest. A big hornet's nest. Oh, look at this! Wait a minute, referee distracted! Double team! Who oh, is this? Son of a kid, this accountant, Poindexter, whatever, with the clipboard. The hell is he writing down? Uh, about what? Why am I talking to him? The Shady Boys. Again, cutting the ring off. But what's he taking? I know he's taking notes. What's it say? He's writing down cheat codes for his video game. Oh, oh. Roman Shaw's had enough! He's had enough! Look at that, he's got rice for it! Whoa! What is this? He just peeled his own partner! He but wants the tag! He and he's got the corner. tag! I've never seen that before! Look out! Whoa! Double clothesline! And look at this! Whoa! Big clothesline in the corner! Suplex right across the ring! Did you hear the impact? Again! Third time's the charm! Robin Shaw! A one-man gang at this point. Saito suplex. Oh! And he nailed him. Oh, big back elbow by Robin Shaw. And Robin Shaw along with that elbow. Look at Robin Shaw, relentless! They call that a violence party, Gloss. Look at the size of this guy. Who can... Uh-oh. Look out! Oh! Oh, he asked and they wanted it, so he gave it to him. Oh, oh. Remy Morgan breaking up the cover. And that would have been it for sure in my estimation. Robin Shaw with that massive haymaker. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Remy Morgan pleading possibly for us. Like, oh, right to the eyes. And that's that's one of the only ways to isolate a big man when you... Oh, look out. DDT. Springboard into the ring. Could this do it? Lateral press. Oh. Wait, Wait a, a minute. minute. Wait just a minute. That, that point extra key, he took the foot, he put it on the bottom rope, the ref didn't see it! He's not just taking notes. Yeah, what is this guy? What else is he here for? Wait a minute. Wow. Now, we're about to find out the if he's oh, in a minute. But Ruff, coming to the aid of whoever this, this dweebo is. Whoa. Now the action's everywhere! Shaw just got nailed with the clipboard! He did! He got nailed with the clipboard! One! Two! Oh my goodness! The Shady Boys won! I can't believe it! The Shady Boys won! They picked up a win! Stocks are falling! Welcome back, MPW Shinobi, as the fans here are welcoming back, officially, in the ring, the former national champion. There he is, Cody Prince, challenging Ray Rosas in the fifth annual, should well, I say? Annual. Ray Rosas, well, not annual, but the fifth consecutive, if you will. Yeah. Well, Ray is 4-0 oh as we, we speak. Well, and if it's up to him, he's going to go 5-0 and oh in, in the weekly... Ray Rosa's Invitational. Now, now, Cody Prince has not been here for quite some time. He actually showed up to MPW last week and, and was a patron. He paid for a ticket just to check out the action. Yeah, he had no intention of getting in the league. And, and what had happened, Ray Rosa saw, saw him, took one look at him and said, hey, challenge just like he challenged Jack Slammer when he was walking through the crowd. Oh, he yeah. challenged Cody Prince. Now, Cody Prince was on the injured reserve list, remember. He had a long win streak until right at the end, until he lost the national title, and he actually wrestled that match injured, and because he mad wrestled that match, he was doctor's orders. He was not cleared for a long, long time. Yeah, well, Klaus, he was actually fighting with a hurt back for a long time, and once he lost the title, he finally had a chance to go ahead and rehabilitate and take that back, and, but you know what, now? He should be 100% and ready to go. I don't know if the back is 100% rehabilitated. Well, What's R Rosa's hand in there? <laughs> Ray Rosa's not endearing himself at all to these people. 
Wait a oh, minute. Oh, Ray Rosas now. Oh, no. He's got, what, this got under the on? ire of Ray Rosas. This is ridiculous. They paid their tickets. Yeah, they paid their tickets. That's a good point, Pinky. They could say, how insecure is this guy? Just the littlest things getting under his head. Talk about an ego out of control. I, I've been one of Ray Russell's friends for many years, and that's exactly what happens when one of, one of Ray Russell's friends gets a little bit of power. Oh. He's got to come and complain to me all day. Give me a break. Ray Rosas, now what is this? And now Cody Prince's turn. Look at oh. him now. Rosas from behind, sneak attack. And he, and he know, set him up on that yeah, one. Yeah, he knows exactly about that injury because look where he went right, for, right, right to start with. Yeah, and don't think Ray Rosas doesn't know what he was doing right there, taking advantage of the returning Cody Prince. You got to imagine there's butterflies in his stomach. Whoa! Did you see the impact? Follows up with that massive clothesline into the buckles. But this is his crowd getting behind the Prince, Cody Prince. Uh oh! Yeah. Oh! Nice snap suplex, vertical. Ray Rosas, so impressive. Lateral oh, press. I think he pressed something else to get his face in the, other yeah. than his lateral. That is a literally a cocky pin. You know what? Oh. Reverse chin lock now applied. Oh, just wrenching it in. Yeah, look at look at where his arm is now, referee. You got to take a look. He's moving it down, but then up. If you notice that when the referee was looking, so it's not around the throat when the ref's looking. I don't know if you picked that up, Pinky, or if our cameras at home pick that up right here at youtube.com forward slash Millennium Pro Wrestling. By the way, like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel, fans. Look out! Whoa, big clothesline. Ray Rosas reading that one. Like him or not, Klaus, Ray Rosas is one of the most impressive wrestlers in all of California. Absolutely right. A crafty veteran. To say the least. Ray Rosas now. Stomping. Taking it to the former national champion. Just talk about talk about guts. Talk about will. Talk about uh, uh, fortitude. I mean, Ray Rosas called him out, and he answered that challenge, Pinky. Oh, yeah, most definitely. The only thing I worry about on, the, on behind of Cody Prince is possibly some ring rust in there. Because he hasn't been in the ring since his first time back. That could be the case as well. As this one-on-one -on -one contest, the Ray Rosas Invitational, excuse me, continues here at MPW Shinobi from Chatsworth. Chris Klaus, Pinky Santino. Oh, look at this. Prince with shots right to the abdomen of Ray Rosas. Shots to the head, big right hands. One after another. Big haymakers. And now to the near side for the ride. Whoa! Got, got him right on the chin. You got to be impressed by Ray Rosas. Like you said, like him or not. Oh no. Oh, big elbow. Possibly stopping him up for the elbow from the top. And that's another cocky pin in a different way, but he did have the leg hooked. But still, not gonna do enough to put Cody Prince away. Especially not with all these fans here. Oh, not at all. Coming in to see Cody Prince. Yeah, coming coming to see Cody Prince. Not only that, but just despising Ray Rosas of late. I mean, it's pretty much a 180 with these two as far as what the fans feel for them. Well, yeah, after that whole situation with Johnny Robbie. Oh, the sad turn of events, Pinky. Almost Look out now, Ray Rosas. Oh, Look out, he caught him. He caught him coming down. I'll let Ted DiBiase one. No, only a one count. Ray Rosas not about to go down in this, the Ray Rosas Invitational. Whoa. Look at, oh, with the momentum. Pulling Cody Prince out. I think he had a handful of tights, Pinky. Oh, I'm pretty sure he did, but he said that, that Cody Prince fell out on his own. Give me a break. And now it looks like he's gonna come back in the ring the hard way, just like he went out of the ring. God, just dropping that elbow on the back of the neck. He sure did. And, and the neck is, a, is attached to that back, that, that back that was injured. Oh, yeah. And he has no remorse for that. I bet you his doctor, if he's watching right now, has gotta be cringing, looking away. Wait a minute though. And that's the heart, that's the will that goes beyond the physical injuries that we're seeing right here. Oh, holding oh, on, no. oh, look at that. My so, star cradle, one, two. Oh. Ray Rosa is so innovative right now. 
Oh, look at that! Jumped all right into the ropes! Oh, Young about to dry cloth. Timing and ring awareness on full display. One, two, three! Come on! He's got he knows the rules, Klaus. He's gonna, he's gonna get off the choke right before the five count. Absolutely right. Uh-oh. Off the ropes out. Rosas. Look out! Oh! They call that scrambled eggs. They sure do. And he might as well be fried right now. And now it's Cody Prince trying to mount a comeback. Look out. Oh, big right hand. Right between the eyes. Again. Ray Rosas in trouble. However, a reversal. Whoa. Launching spear. Whoa. Oh, what a nip up. Where's Prince fighting this energy? He's getting it from the people. Missing with the clothesline. Whoa, big, big boom. boom. right on the face. That's a size One, 14. Two. Oh, so close. No idea how Ray Rose was kicked out of that one. What a battle. What a match. Ray Rosas holding on to that bottom rope, trying to gain his composure. But then again, so is Cody Prince. Uh-oh. Possibly going for, for that impaler. Oh, Ray Rosas reverses. Sends the corner up and over. Look oh, out! Oh. Big time super kick by Rosas. Yeah. One, two. Oh. oh, so close. I don't know how he kicked out. Boy, did he nail him with that. Ray Rosas can't believe it either. One-on-one -on -one action here, MPW Shinobi, brought to you by The Wrestling Chatter. Go to youtube.com forward slash The Wrestling Chatter. Subscribe, stream, MFN streaming service, Millennium Wrestling Academy. Find them on Facebook, this channel, fans. YouTube.com forward slash Millennium Pro Wrestling. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And every Friday night, 19801 Nordar Place in Chats for 7.30 p.m. And the big one, October the 28th at the MPW Arena. Yeah, folks, you are not going to want to miss that one. The king of extreme. Listen to these fans. Ray Rosas. Cody Prince. Only one will come out on top. And this has been a war. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that. Just driving Prince off of his feet. Big haymaker. Ray Rosas should stop worrying about these people and worrying about the opposite wolf. In for the ride. Oh. Cody Prince, the former champion. Oh, it's loud. Shades of Scott Hall. Oh, what athleticism on display. But Scott Hall never got up like that after. Oh, what do we have here? Fireman's carry. But wait a minute, Rosas having just enough barely to fight out of that. Oh, one of his own now. Both men mirroring each other. Oh, big on the face buster. Could they steal it? One, one, two. Oh. oh! If not for those ropes, that would have been three, Klaus. That would have been it. Ray Rosas would have lost the first of the Ray Rosas Invitational. However, the ring awareness on full display as this contest continues. The Ray Rosas Invitational is still intact. This thing still continues. Unbelievable. What a match this has been. Listen to these people. Soli behind the returning Cody Prince. And what a return it is. It has been so far. I think but the cherry on the top of the Sunday would be if he can walk away with the win. And that's what he's going for right now. Oh, wait. Oh! oh big German, German, German suplex. suplex. You can say that again. Oh! Whoa! Goes on right over the ropes. Uh oh, wait a minute. Go for a plancha. Oh! The action spills out to the floor. Again, the war, the battle continues, whether inside or outside. And you think they're on the floor and all over the arena right now. Imagine what they're going to be on for the tw on the 28th, the king of extreme. Oh, double axe handle from Cody Prince. And now look at this. Oh, reverse knife edge right out in front of us. Referee Victor Quintes trying to gain some order here. He's up to four now. Uh-oh, head of steam. Oh, no! Oh, and he ran right into that jagged ring post. He sure did! Right into the post! He might be knocked out. 
Oh, give me a break, Rosas. Rosas trying to take advantage, obviously. He just shoved the referee out of the way. Oh, no, not like this. Oh, did he go crashing into that ring post? Those unforgiving, jagged ring posts here in MPW. What does Ray Rosas have in mind now, Pinky? Oh, no. Well, we talked oh, no. about Scott Hall earlier. Is that what we're going to see? Yes! Oh, Razor's Edge! Could this One, do it? Two, three. Ray Rosas, unreal, 5 and 0. Oh. The streak continues, boss. Ray Rosas victorious. Unbelievable, what a battle. You got to give it up for both men, I, I will admit. But these fans won't admit it. I'm not even going to you. You guys are behind, you guys are back there. My mind, you guys don't even exist. It's just me in this ring. I stand in this ring alone, head and shoulders, everybody else. No one could touch me. Well, five people couldn't. And look at that. You shouldn't have listened to the people, Cody. Yeah. Or you bet you're regretting the decision you made to get back to the ring with the greatest they ever lived, Ray Rosas. Yeah. Give me a break. You should have stayed quit. You should have stayed quick because you know what? You're just another one, another number, another one in the five and no. Oh, come on. How long do we have to put up with this? Probably until he loses. But it's back. Oh, oh wait, wait a minute, come on. The match is over. Wait, it's Johnny Robbie. Johnny Robbie. She, she must have just arrived. She wasn't back there earlier. What is this? Her roast us like he saw a ghost. Oh my goodness. What are you doing here? Ray Romano, you need to go here. Oh yes, she does. I think she can go wherever she damn well pleases. Wait a minute, Johnny Robbie with the microphone. With the injured. I don't go here, Ray. Last I checked, you were the one who trained me. Oh, oh. Uh, okay. What's the matter? Am I surpassing you? Oh, wait a minute. You know, hey, you can hey, run hey, in your hey. mouth. You think I haven't been hearing it? Yeah! Hmm? Talk about getting so under the skin. You're ducking me. What? I say. You're scared of fighting. You're a weasel. You're a weasel, Ray. That's what you are. I think the ego's gonna explode. It's gonna implode. Five and oh. Five and oh. Congrats, congrats. That's real good for a vet. Yeah, real good. Ooh. Well, guess what, Ray? Guess who earned the last spot in the King of Extreme Battle Royale? Uh oh, don't tell me. Who? I'm pretty sure oh, I know. It is! Oh, Ray Rosa's been out of shape! And that's yeah. news to everybody! Me, Ray. So, there's no more ducking. There's no more of that little weaseling around. Ray, I'm gonna get your ass in King of Extreme. Johnny Robbie, strong words! Okay, why wait? Huh? October. Why wait till then, huh? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Huh? Ray Rosas, Johnny Robbie, wait! We're not gonna have to wait till October 28th! They're gonna go at it right now, it looks like! Ray Rosas maybe, maybe having second thoughts. No. Not so fast, it looks like. I'm afraid of you. I'm afraid of you. I'm afraid of you. I'm afraid for you. Get in the ring. Get in the ring with Ray Rosas. It's suicide. Oh. Are oh, you doing her a favor? Me and you will wait until the king of extreme. Okay, now we'll wait till I... What? Wait, what did you say? What? We're gonna wait till the King of Extreme! We're gonna wait till the King of Extreme! Wait, what's going on here? No, no, no. Hey, that doesn't look a good idea! Was that a Freudian slip? Are you into this to prep on me? Johnny Robbie really getting under the skin now, really getting the, the ire of Ray Rosas. You can tell he's boiling underneath. Piggy 
Pinky said, wait a minute. Oh, Pinky Santino, he's had enough. Let's not forget who the champion. I'm excited about this. John Robbie, welcome back. Uh, I was glad to give you that last spot. You deserve it. That's right. The fans are glad to see it. I, I know, I know. But you know what? I, I, I have faith in you, Ray. You do? You can do whatever. You can do it. I can do it. Yeah, it's, I you can, know what? I can't. You can do it so much. It. Next week, the Ray Roses Invitational continues. And you're not just going to fight one person. You're going to fight two. It's going to be a three-way. You, Diego Gantz. Hey, Johnny, you free? No. Oh! Johnny Robbie, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what, let's just make things a little more exciting. The loser of that match is the entrant number one in the King of Extreme Battle Royale. Oh my goodness, they- Who wants to see it? Things are heating up! Well, the boss wants it, the boss gets it. We Next week, three-way. We the people have spoken! I, I just don't, <laughs> ah, you know, just when things start going right, just when things start going okay for good old Ray Rosas, Johnny Robbie sticks her face back into this, sticks her big nose right back into my business. I thought I was through that brat, I thought I was done. Oh, uh, just when I was just celebrating five wins, zero losses in the Ray Rosas Invitational, you come back. I was on my way to making myself the first two-time King of Extreme, the first back-to-back -back King of Extreme, the very match that I conceived in my brain, the Battle Royale, where six of the most extreme wrestlers in MPW get together and they cause each other some extreme mayhem. And Ray Roses had a plethora of ideas. And now Johnny Robbie's here, and yet, now that I'm thinking about it, it's probably not a bad thing that she's in there. It's probably a good thing that she's in there because now I can inflict even more pain on the Johnny Robbie. Now I can make her suffer a little more to see. So she knows everything that I had putting with her, up with her had to be. Everything to put. I can't even get the words out because I'm just frustrated about Johnny Robbie. Having to hold her up, having to carry her on my back was such a burden to me. And I was finally free, and now she's back, trying to ruin all my plans. And now she's in Pinky, the general manager Pinky, is making a three-way match between two people that aren't even invited. Diego Valens and Johnny Robbie, where the winner gets in last in the battle royale, but the loser comes in first. Well, I beat them both before, and I'm gonna have to beat them again. And that's what's gonna happen next week, and the following week at the King of Extreme. When Ray Rosas reigns supreme. Guess who just earned the last spot in King of Extremes Battle Royale? Johnny Robbie. And guess who's gonna make Ray Rosas be the number one entrant? Johnny Robbie. And guess who's gonna be the first ever Queen of Extreme? Johnny Robbie. All right, fans, welcome back. This MPW Shinobi. Chris Kloss, Pinky Santino, ringside here, Chatsworth, California. Oh my goodness, Pinky. How, how much do we have to talk about leading up now to October the 28th for the King of Extreme? So much is going on just tonight oh, yeah, with the implications. Know, Most definitely. Oh, and, look at this. And boy, you got your hands full. Oh, you're, yeah, you're not lying. Match made for next week. Huh. Three-way dance. Ray Rosas, Johnny Robbie, and the man that's in there right now, Diego Valens. That's right. One-on-one -on -one action right now. Leo Canedo, member, of course, of the E, the Enterprise. And boy, what a tortured, demented soul this guy is. In there with one of the greats, the handsome devil, Diego Valens, former MPW champion. Oh, yeah. But they call him the handsome devil. I'm pretty sure Canedo has a little bit of devil in him himself oh, if you look at his eyes. Gosh, he never blinks an eye. Yeah. Oh, wait, Canedo. Chest first. Oh, nice arm drag. The handsome devil, Diego Valens. Athleticism personified on full display here at MPW Shinobi one-on-one -on -one action. Oh, yeah, you're not lying. 
One of the most dang- I've always said it's one of the most dangerous men in all of MPW. And I gotta say, uh, decisive height oh. advantage right there and reach right there. As you can see, Leo Canedo taking full advantage of that. In there with the handsome devil, Diego Valens. Irish whip coming up for the ride. Diego Valens, oh, tilt the world. Look out, oh, lands on his feet. Clothesline, duck underneath. Wait a minute, it's Valens now. Whoa! Takes him down, Hurricane Rana. And he raised down huge right hands. Yeah, unloading with the artillery. And now, up and over. No, it lands on his feet. Diego Valens. Oh, this guy's like block a cat. Right. Oh, absolutely right. Right into the buckle goes. Uh oh, wait a minute. Look at from the top. Like his body. Two. Oh, two. Here, fall. Rolling out of the ring, and I think possibly on purpose right there. Yeah. Right. I gotta say, that's a smart move by Canedo. Yeah. He has to try to slow this match down because the pace, a, a faster pace is exactly what Diego Bellens wants. Yeah, that's to his advantage. Where's the strength game? The size game will be to the advantage of Leo Canedo the menace. Also the numbers game, because you got Robin Shaw and the guy taking Whoa. notes on the outside again. Swinging neck breaker from the big man. Leo Canedo hooks the leg, referee down. Only a two count once again. What, is, fall. He, what is he, the stockbroker? What is he doing out there? The oh, what is it? That, that, that Poindexter weirdo is back. He's got that clipboard again. Is that a new sheet of paper? Uh, the, the clipboard's taped up since they broke it over Robin Shaw's head earlier. Well, he's today. also got tape around the, his glasses frames. What a, what a weird, weeby kid. I mean, maybe he's been brainwashed into the Enterprise. I don't know. I have no idea. I think we're, gonna, we're gonna have more questions than we have answers yeah. today. Another question leading up to October the 28th, MPW's King of Extreme taking place from 19801 Nordop Place in Chatsworth. Oh! Oh, European uppercut to the back of the head! Wow! Look at that. Very impressive from Leo Canedo, but that weird, ominous stare. He just stared at you. I think he oh, heard you I, talking about All right. He did. I don't. I'm just here to commentate. I'm not here to compliment anybody. And Can I don't... Canedo's the type of guy, though, with just a glance, that can make you feel comfortable. Uh, you know, I can see now, with that, with that glare after I said that, Whoa. I can see now how he, he may be brainwashed by Robin Shaw so easily. I don't know. I don't know. Just a thought. Whoa. Just a point of reference. Who knows? Well, these guys are both unleashing monstrous right hands. They sure are. Oh, big chop in the far side of the ring. Diego Valen's in trouble right now. As the Enterprise would like to see their stocks rise after that outing with the Shady Boys earlier in the evening. Oh, Canedo eats a big back elbow. And he ran right into that. Look out! Oh, look at the strength. He caught him. Whoa, power slam! With ease. And that is no easy feat, Klaus. Not at all. Leo Canedo, very impressive thus far in this one-on-one -on -one contest. Wrenching away now at the head and the neck of the former MPW champion, the handsome devil, Diego Valens. Ooh, the human neck was not meant to bend that way. Not at all. Diego Valens in trouble. Referee right there checking on him. All legal. Diego Valens trying to muster up some courage as the troops are rallying behind him here at the MPW Arena. Oh, big elbow to the midsection. Oh. We'll cut him off at the pass right there. Leo Canedo knows exactly what to do at the exact right time. Northern Light suplex. And he nailed him. Oh, shades from the book of, oh, almost shades from the book of, wait, are we going to see? No. He usually likes going for that Falcon Arrow. Didn't see it this time. Oh, Northern Lights of his own. And there it is, vintage. Oh. Diego Valens double foot stomp. And did he drive those feet down to the chest? Oh, yeah. He must have caved in the chest of Canedo. Both men are down. Both men trying to get to their feet in this one-on-one -on -one contest at MPW Shinobi. Only days away from October the 28th, the big one at the MPW Arena, MPW's King of Extreme. Look out. Oh, big right hands by Valen, three in a row. Valens cutting off. Canada, wait a minute, holding up, putting on the brakes. Right, Valens not taking no for an answer, but gets a reversal. Big yeah, close line by Valens. Big back elbow. Valens is on fire. 
Oh! Canado, duck under! Sends him off! Ducks the line! Big running knee! So impressive! Diego Valens, the handsome devil! Can he put him away though? That's the question! Uh oh, Canado! Whoa! DDT drove him down! He spiked him, Klaus! Oh, oh. yeah, two count! And Diego Valens can't believe it! I can't believe it! This contest continues! It's kind of just fun. Diego Valens holding his own in there, but then again, so is Leo Canedo. Yeah, most definitely these guys are going back and forth. Oh. Both of them have gotten their advantage in this match, but who knows who's going to keep it. And so many competitors, Pinky, want to prove themselves oh, leading wait, up wait, to wait. October 28th. Going for the devil's tail, but Canedo scouting it, fighting out of it. Possibly doing his homework on the handsome devil. Irish whip for the ride. It looks like a tilt the world once again. Wait a minute, reversal, no. Front face lock. Whoa! Falcon arrow, there it is. One, two, that's it. Oh! I cannot believe he kicked out of that. Such impressive power shown by Canado. Yeah. Canado now can't believe it. Both back and forth, these two. Robin Shaw, the kingmaker, and Poindexter arguing. Well, Poindexter trying to calm everything down. You can see him with his hands like a psychiatrist. Calm down. I, I don't know. I don't know what this guy's all about or how he fits into the Enterprise. Nonetheless, the action in the ring continues as Canado, no, countering his way out of it. Oh, they kick. Dan Zagari right across the side of the face. Bounce comes in. European uppercut. Running with the momentum. Whoa! Big time power slam! And that Mozo is through! Mozo! He nailed him! One, Hooks a leg! Two. Oh. oh my goodness! Are you kidding me? I can't believe it! Balance can't believe it! These fans can't believe it! Hell, I don't even think the referee of the ring announcer can believe it. A stunned look on everybody's face. Here at the MPW Arena. Uh, evidently, except for Robin Shaw, he said he believes in it. Oh. oh, wait a minute. Smart move right there. Desperation on the part of Leo Canedo. Clotheslining, balance. Oh, so, he, such a flip. Holding onto the ropes, but One, then go. Wait a two. minute. Wait, was that a three? No, wait a minute. Referee saw the feet. He saw the feet. The feet were on the ropes. Thank goodness the referee saw that. That would have been history for balance. But oh, even man. though the Enterprise isn't happy with it, this contest continues. It's not official until the referee calls for the bell. That's right. And wait a minute now. Canedo trying to finish off the handsome devil. Oh, devil's the devil's tail. tail. The devil's tail. One, two. That's it. It's over. Stocks are falling for the Enterprise. Oh, wait a minute. Robinson has a microphone. What's going on now? Wait a minute, back in the ring, live action here in the ring, MPW Shinobi, Robin Shaw and the, uh... Is that a yeah, it's, okay. it's okay, it's okay, Leo. Accountant? It's okay. Grab Max, grab Max, I need to talk to him too. Robin Shaw talking to Jesus. Leo Canedo. Leo. Obviously disappointed. I've learned a lot since two weeks ago in All Out War. I've had a lot of discussions with my new friend, the intern. The intern? The intern. I've had a lot of discussions with fans of MPW. <laughs> and quite frankly, mostly with Lamson, but we're going to have, we're going, the Enterprise needs to make some changes. Uh -oh. Desperately, because the cheating isn't working anymore. Now you realize that. What you did just now, if you'd have just hooked him for the sunset flip, we would have, you would have won. So the, the Enterprise needs to refocus on what's important. What and that? I think that is the goodwill of the fans and the community around us. Community. Smart investments in the people here at MPW. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna puke. And more specifically, I've spoken to my corporate sponsor friends at Taco Bell. Taco oh, right Bell? It's a mind good monster bell. And they are more than willing to have Baja Blast sponsor the Enterprise once again. But we need to make some changes. A corporate makeover is, in, is badly needed. And they have one major request for you in order for you to officially join the Enterprise, Leo. 
greatly needed. You must get rid of Max. What? The mask has to go. Well, that's, I mean, he, that's his identity. If you want to join the Enterprise in our new venture of being friends of this community, sponsored by Taco Bell, you oh must my. get rid of Max. What do you say? Taco Bell's one hell of a sponsor. Yeah, Canado, don't. I mean, do what you feel. Leo, Leo Canado is doing what he feels. Oh my goodness. If that wasn't a statement, I don't know what was, Pinky. I'm sorry, you've been relieved from the Enterprise. He's gone! It's official! Fans, welcome back. MPW Shinobi, ringside. Chris Claus, Pinky Santino from the MPW Arena in Chatsworth. One-on-one -on -one action! Whoa. The MPW champion is here, Mickey Rose, going against a big, big opponent in the form of the Baphomet, member of the Void, and Auntie Heidi looking on as creepy as ever. Oh, yeah. And just her standing next to us. Like, I don't like it's it. It's like an aura. I, yeah. It just feels like someone died. There's a weird, weird energy right near us. Right now, Miggy Rose, this might be one of his biggest challenges today. Literally. And figuratively. Whoa! Oh! He got the go one, two, only a two count. Miggy Rose is going to have to do that. Use his high flying expertise, use his speed against a big man like the Baphomet. Whoa! Wait, what wait, the hell? Wait, what's Heidi, Heidi doing? Oh, wait a minute. What are you doing? What is this? Oh, that what eye! The? Look oh, at that eye! Oh, the eye! You can see! It's like a. Mickey Rose, no! Don't do it! Oh, he got distracted! That's the same eye that she used to take J2's mind oh, over. Oh, God! We talked about this weird energy near us. Whoa! Getting closer and closer to the Halloween time. Things are getting spooky yeah, here I don't know. in MPW. It's like that, that negative energy grows more and more with Auntie Heidi as we get closer to, to the end of October. Oh, God. Well, speaking of the end of October, that's October 28th. It's only a few days from Halloween. Oh, yeah. The MPW King of Extreme. Oh, wait a minute. Whoa! Oh, like a rag doll. The Baphomet, so big, so strong, so powerful, so menacing. And just methodically oh. going after the champion. Massive right hand by the Baphomet. Oh, God. Oh, into the far side. And then the fans, like they always are, solely behind the MPW champion, Mickey Rose. And look at this, the champion not backing down, not giving up. Not at all. Oh. Oh. But the Baphomet, oh, big massive headbutt from a big massive head, almost twice the size of Mickey's head. Massive clothesline. Look out. Big belly to belly suplex. One, two. Champion kicks out. The boss, look at, oh God, look at this now. Oh, what the hell is going on now? Let's put him to sleep. What do you mean put him to sleep? What is she talking about? Oh, I mean, no. I hope just a sleeper hold. Mickey Rose now at the mercy of the void. Baphomet and Auntie Heidi. Look at this. That's what you call a fighting champion, Klaus. You sure do. That's all, oh! and that's what you call just too big and too strong. But is the heart of Biggie Rose just as strong as the sheer physical mass of the Baphomet? That's the question. Whoa! Did you see the ease? Oh yeah, Biggie Rose is a full-size man getting picked up like nothing. Drop kick stuns the big man. But wait a minute! Oh, try that belly to belly get full. Step up into Gary by Mickey Rose. Come on, Mickey. And now, the Baphomet feeling the effects of the MPW champion. Mickey now, oh no, lands on his feet. Back in with an arm drag. Whoa, vintage Mickey Rose. Using the big man size against him. Disaster, Disaster kick. kick. Could this do it? One, two, whoa. The Baphomet kicks out. 
that just a swing of his arm. I, I don't. I'm, listen, I know we're calling the action, but I, I don't know what it is. Auntie Heidi, yes, yeah, she's right near us, but it just. What? Oh, oh God! Oh no! What is? What is this? What the hell is this? They're the. They don't have faces. Who the hell are these guys? Look at, what is? Oh my God! Get to. No. The MPW, Mickey Rose! Just hitting everything that moves! He's gotta do that! He's gotta fight for his life! What is what the hell is going on out here? The bell's wrong! No, Mickey! Mickey, turn around! Oh no! No! Not like this! Oh! Oh, it's lights out for the Ladies champ! Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called this no contest. No contest. Yeah, but what, what are we witnessing? What are who the hell is she? You heard Haunty Heidi screech and then these three creatures oh no. came out. Oh no. What is this? Now Sinko she's doing. She's getting in the ring now, but. What is this? Mickey Rose! Oh no. The champion in big, big trouble, I, I feel. Oh no. What no. is this? Oh! Oh god. There is a newfound. Eeriness, a newfound rage, a newfound just just demented violence displayed. Oh, I'm not God. getting the answers here, Claude. Oh, the voice. Oh, God. You know why I've been doing this? Let me tell you a secret. Oh. I hate you. Oh, God. I hate oh. everything. You stand. Oh, come on. Because I hate MPW. These people. Oh, God, that, oh, that voice. And so now I'm going to take that which is precious to you and to this entire promotion. Oh, wait, wait, what? Heroes, I challenge you to King of Extreme wait, for what? your PW Heavyweight oh. Championship. Whoa! Unprecedented! You best be aware, Terry. No one escapes the void. Oh, God. October 28th. MPW King of Extreme. We may, we may have a title match. I know you're going to have your hands full once again, Pinky Santino, but. God, I can't believe what we witnessed, those those three creatures and oh, fans stay with us, more action, God. Fans, we have arrived, the main event tonight at MPW Shinobi. My name is Chris Claus, sitting next to Pinky Santino, the general manager, and the man with his hands full as we go to our ring announcer right now. Gives final instructions and checks for foreign objects. Let's make this official. What are you scared of? Introducing the challengers with a combined weight of 380 pounds. Alejandro Mauricio Fernandez and El Primo Video Rebecca. With a combined weight of 460 pounds, they are your reigning MPW Tag Team Champions, Brendan Devine, Danny Devine, The Brothers Divine. Titles on the line, our main event tonight, as we head into MPW's King of Extreme, only days away, October the 28th, from right here. But first, the tag team belts are up for grabs. Championship match, the Crypto Cartel with a golden opportunity tonight. 
You're not lying, Claus. They asked for the title shot. They got it. Now it's time to put up or shut up. Fans electric here. Main event, big time feel. MPW Arena every Friday night, 7.30 p.m., 19801 Nordell Place. And there's one thing I gotta give to MPW more than any other company, how much importance we put on those tag team titles. Oh. Uh, other other ch companies treat them like uh, a an afterthought. No, 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 this is our main event right That's here. Right. These four men are gonna tear each other apart for that gold in there. Yeah, tag team wrestling does not take a back seat in MPW. As, like you said, Pinky, you could argue in recent years of professional wrestling, some say a little bit of a dying art, but not here in MPW. Tag Team Gold on the line, and the main event is officially underway. Big, Brendan Devine. Both big men of both respective teams starting out with wait, one wait, another. Wait a minute, listen to this. He actually has some fans. Oh, wait a minute. How much did they pay him? They got the money. That's true, the Crypto Cartel. Brendan Devine, El Primo Hano tried back a lock up. A couple of bulls going back and forth in there. Yeah, like two bulls, exactly right. Brendan a little bit, a little bit bigger. But El Primo, yeah, no slouch in his own right. Definitely has a height difference there. You use oh, yeah. that length to go ahead and generate a little more power. One of the taller competitors, maybe the tallest in all of MPW. It's either him or, or Baphomet. Oh, God, yeah. We just saw a little Ooh. while ago. So disturbing. Oh, yeah. Cannot believe what we just witnessed. Auntie Heidi and those three. Oh, God, what were they? Creatures of some kind. No idea. They didn't even have your faces, Pinky. They did not have faces. That, fa well, that face was void, but you know what? Hey, we got tag team action right going on right now. Let's focus on this. Side headlock by Primo Henio. It gets sent off. Oh! Big shoulder block by Primo Henio Tribeca. Challenger zone. And Crowd I gotta give it to the challengers that fired up, boss. That's right. They know what a golden opportunity this is. Up and over down. Oh! A Primo feeling the effects of one half of the tag team champions. Now getting out of Dodge. Wait a minute. What is this? A Crypto Cartel regrouping. Jack Slammer. Don't forget about him out here in the corner. What is this? The huddle. A little bit of a game plan, it looks like, Pinky. Well, I, I, I think it's a smart move because Brendan Devine likes to work at a fast pace. Trying to strategize, trying to regroup. Brendan Devine frustrated now. And trying to slow down the pace and doing exactly what well, you said. It, frustrating Brendan Devine. And Brendan Devine, a little bit of a high head. He has a temper to him. But when he uses that, loses that temper, he makes mistakes. Could be the case as well, Pinky Santino. As right now we see the two men that still, no tags as of yet, either team. Spoke oh, too soon. There you go. I think they just did that to make you wrong. Uh, probably. I accept. What is, oh, come on. A little shimmy in there. A little shimmy, shimmy, shaky, shaky, shucking and jiving, yeah. Jack Slammer, ringside. Oh, look at that. Divine going around the world and taking him down. Side headlock just wrenching it in. Boy, is he ever. Hey, can he wrench him in? He's got those big guns. Putting him to good work. Oh, look at this. Again, frustrating Brendan Devine, and maybe this is the game plan, like he said, Pinky Santino. Take two on the huddle. Yeah, take two with all three in the huddle. What is this? Come on, this is enough. The main event. Brendan Devine. Danny Devine, the tag team champions. They want Adam. They want to get down to business. And look at this, AMF in no hurry to get back in the ring, taking his time. Oh, oh what was that? Break. Well, he officially broke the count. Oh, God, he said you wanted him back in the ring, you got him. You didn't tell him how long he had to stay out. What are these guys, eight years old? Oh, Brendan makes a tag, in comes Danny Devine. Yep. Waist lock go behind now. Trying to get him up. Oh, wait a minute, though, we're in the wrong part of town. Primo Hedio keeping him down. Oh. 
Wait a minute, right in front of us. Look out! Drop kick! And look at this. It's not just him, it's, it's P. Wahenio and Slammer right here in front of us. Sure is. Boots to the midsection now. And now we're seeing a double team from the Crypto Cartel. Vertical suplex. Oh, look at the elevator. No, wait a minute. Oh, from behind. The Brothers Divine backing each other up as only they can do. Oh, double send off. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait, what is it? Oh, come on, Slammer. I mean, I will say, innovative creator right there, saving it for his team, doing whatever it takes. Obviously, look, the Crypto Cartel know exactly how important this match is. Whether you like their tactics or not, they are showing right now how bad they want this. Oh, yeah, you're not lying. They held onto each other like a barrel full of money. Wait a minute! Wait. The Brothers oh. Divine! They took out all the Crypto Cartel! Did you see that? Whoa, did they fly! Look at that, and they say white men can't jump. Oh, whoa. Woody Harrelson and the, brother, uh, and the Brothers Divine. I Proving guess they're the three now that proved him wrong. That's right. There right. we go. What do we have double here? suplex. And there's no one to stop him this time. And snapped him down with velocity. One, two. Only a two count. Kick out at two. Title still on the line. Crypto Cartel, the challengers, the Brothers Divine, your current reigning and defending champions. And this, our main event of the evening, MPW Shinobi. And folks, if you're not here tonight, you got to be here. We are here every single Friday night. You don't want to miss it. Wrestling action here every single Friday night. 19801 Nordoff Place in Chatsworth, California. Oh. The only show in Southern California that is here every single Friday night. We miss that reverse side by Joe. Missing. Oh, open hand chop. Whoa. Look at Divine going to work. We did Divine now with a Primo Heno Tribeca. What does he have in mind here? Belly to back. He needs to roll him down using the height to his advantage. Referee down one, two, kick out. Titles on the line, still up for grabs as this main event continues. Chris Lodge, Pinky Santino from the MPW Arena in Chatsworth, California. Oh, look at that. Primo Heno landed on his feet. We saw go behind. Slammer again holding this. on. Hey, Referee. Oh no! He got blindsided. That was a cheap shot. Oh no! We're talking about cheap shot. All Ch around. And now unloading on Brandon Devine. Choking him now. Give me a break. Come on, referee. Oh, now AMF wants in the match. Oh, please. Leader of the Crypto Cartel, AMF. Whoa. Waiting for, for Primo Henio to do all the work. Now he's going to come in and pick up the scraps. Oh, as only he can do. And now double team. Brendan Devine in trouble. The title's at stake. Uh-oh, look at this now. Reversal. AMF with a big splash. With the momentum with that double team with the assist of El Primo Genio Tribeca. The Crypto Cartel now in control. Russian leg sweep. And did he nail that? Hooks one. leg. Only a one count. Just barely got out of that. Or barely got a one count, excuse me. And don't think the Brothers Divine know how important this match is. Every match they have defending that gold, so vital, so important, Pinky Santino. Oh yeah, they're trying to build a legacy as one of the best tag teams here Absolutely. In, in Millennium Pro Wrestling. You got that right. And now El Primo Genio Tribeca, Danny Devine so desperately wants into the ring, but they're cutting the ring off nicely. And Brendan Devine being punished like no other. But Brendan Devine finding some, somehow, the little left that he has deep down inside. I don't know. Oh, look at oh, this. They're taking it right. That, dropping that knee right on the cheekbone. Yeah, and they're taking everything out of him, Pinky. Oh, what has he got setting up for here? Oh! oh. Massive chop by Primo Genio. Oh, did that echo. All the way over to Glendale. And now it looks like a running bulldog coming up. Nicely executed. One, two, talk about a cocky pin, staring a hole right through Danny Devine, who again so desperately wants to get back into this ring and help his brother and help his chances 
of successfully defending the title. Oh, look at this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, come on. He's getting struggled into the corner. No. Look, Danny Devine trying to help his brother out, but doesn't realize that he's actually hurting instead of helping. Unbelievable. Unreal. The crypto cartel, again, pulling anything and everything they have up their sleeve. And not ashamed to use any tactic, good or bad. And they're doing that right now. Oh, look at this. Titles are in jeopardy, Pinky. Oh, right to the eye. Yeah, if you can isolate a big man, that's the way to do it. No matter how big or small, the eyes are going to affect you the same. So Brenda Devine trying desperately to fight out of this. Ancient waist is lock. way over. Whoa, wait. Reversal. Whoa. Oh, no. Oh, with the momentum, Brenda Devine goes crashing to the outside. And wait a oh, minute. Oh, no. No, come on. Stop it. Referee, turn around. Oh, no. Not like this. Danny Devine coming to save the day. Remember, Pinky, blood is thicker than water. But Danny has to be smart about this. He can't get distracted and distract the referee. AMF firing the injured, Brendan Devine back into the ring. We could have new champions, Pinky, if he oh, keeps yeah. going like this. And I can only imagine the, the crap that AMF is going to spew if they win. Hey, small package one, two. Oh, oh come on. Oh, massive lariat by Primo Hanio. Oh, and did he nail him? Hey, hey, AMF tagged in. Come on. They got to get one of these guys out. You sure do. Wait a minute now. Double team. No. Oh, oh. Boop, boop. Desperation. Brendan Devine. And there's the tag. Danny Eight. Devine finally. Danny Devine cleaning house. Close line again. Irish whip. Reversal. Holding on. Oh, oh it's a curry off the ropes. Oh, and did he nail him? Look out, though. Waist lock. Back elbow. Out of the ring goes AMF. Continuing to clean house. Catches him with the foot. Oh, nice kick. Look at this. Into the ropes now. Wait a minute. Danny Devine on the outside. Uh-oh. What is this? Look out. Oh, right, but, him right across the nose. Yeah. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. Devine now. Don't forget about Jack Slammer. Shoulder block. Danny Devine. Unbelievable. What action. The tag team champions on full display. What is he have my Who's the legal man, Pinky? Look at this. One cut. One more cutter for AMF. Hooks the leg. One, one two. two. Oh, so close. Look at this. Come on. Just yanks him all the way out. He the line. Wait a minute. What is this? Oh, no. Oh, he oh. hit the post. Did he smack into that post? Danny Devine, desperation, reversing things. I wouldn't be surprised if Primo Hanu had a broken nose. And now trying to go into the... Oh, no! German suplex out of nowhere. AMF. We can have new champions. Just like... Oh, oh my goodness, Danny Devine. Just at the last second, kicks out. I thought that was it. I thought it was two. Titles still up for grabs. What a main event. What a night. What an MPW shinobi. As we are days away from MPW's King of Extreme on the 28th of October. Is that tag? Can, can you do that? Wait a minute. What? Oh. What, what, did, just letting it go. what did the referee call? Spinning back kick. Big kick. Oh, nailed him with the knee. Oh, the brothers oh, survived. They got him with the high low right there. One, One two. two. Oh. I don't know how he kicked out of that. Impressive double team from the champions. Such resilience. Again, both teams showing just how bad they want this. Look at this. Brendan calling for the finish. And there it is, the tag to big Brendan Devine. Big little brother Brendan Devine. Oh, wait, wait a minute, oh no, no. Wait, go for that left, wait a minute. Oh no, face oh. first. 
Oh, oh no. could this be it? Not like this. Yeah. Wait One, a minute. Two. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Brendan Devine at the last second. Oh, what a match. It's just, look out. Oh, no. Face reverse right into the guardrail. Goes Danny Devine. Oh, no. Danny Devine is, he's out. Brendan Devine left all by himself. Oh, look at that high knee. But somehow. Oh, oh. he eats a giant spear. Danny Devine back in the ring, spinning back kick. To the back of the hall, drove his head down to the canvas. This is, this is a melee. This is a mess. And this oh, is a war. Is. There he goes. That's got to do it. 